Dear Mom and Dad, I know you both love me, and I love you too. I just love myself maybe too much. Maybe I just don't love myself at all. Maybe that's why, could that be part of the reason why I've been cursing God like I have? Because I hate myself so much that I'm becoming reckless? Well, anyways, I will try to explain in this series of videos as best as I, as concise as I can why I'm so angry. I'm too afraid to go face to face with y'all because I feel I'll be ganged up on and I just feel so... I want to do this publicly because if I'm in a crowd then I feel like not so alone. Well anyways, we got the first part of this is my sleeping. You know my sleep habits. I'm not going to use a single cuss word in this series of videos either. Just for you and dad, mom. But in 1985, I was beginning to wonder, is there really life after death? I, I, you see that dead body in that casket? And it's terrifying. Yes, I believe. I will myself to believe in life after death because if there is no life after death, then that means the Bible and Jesus are not real. And if you think that, then you're going to hell when you die. But anyways, I remember one night in the summer of 85, I was sleeping, my cousin was sleeping, it was dark everywhere, and I was troubled, could not go to sleep. Well, I asked my cousin, I'd heard something about these people who had died, and they brought them back, and them sing something, and I asked him about it, and he reaffirmed it with a story he had heard, and I went right to sleep that night. I remember one night, me, I was spending the night with my cousins at their house behind the airport, Didi's house behind the airport, and we were talking and laughing, but it was bothering me. Is there life after death? Knowing that if there wasn't, then the unconsciousness oblivion of sleep is the foretaste of the final and the everlasting oblivion of death when you die. Well, see, back then, even as late as 1997, I could still go to sleep eventually didn't take very long and stay asleep and when I woke up I was refreshed ready to get up but in 1994-95 when I believed George C. Ritchie's book of term from the mall knowing there was I had evidence of life after death I slept some of the sweetest nice those during that time but in 1996 when I found out they could reproduce the elements of an NDE in the laboratory that was not spiritual, it was other body. And it started in, in 1998, it started. And ever since then, I cannot get more than three or four hours of sleep at a time. I gotta keep waking up again and again. And eventually, I wake up and we were ready to go for the day. My, I wake up constantly having to get up and pee. When did they build this? I don't know. Pretty nice, ain't it? Yeah. And it just makes me angry. I'm sleep deprived. If I get up, I cannot change my sleep habits because if I try going to bed before when I do, I'll lay awake all night long. Damn, man. What? Well,